In some words, there are glides that are hidden within the word. They're not evident necessarily through spelling. Uh, in reading lessons, you might have heard of this as sort of the long U. Um, so it's an U sound, but it's preceded by this Y-like sound as we think of in spelling. So it's like U. Right, let me give you an example. If I say the word use, use, it's different than the word ooze. The difference is in a preceding consonant sound, the y that precedes the vowel. Okay, let's do some other examples. Food, feud, fool, fuel. Uh, this can also occur in um, words not followed just by oo. Uh, it can happen in words like um, cure, which is different than cur, um, pure would be another example. Uh, and again, the vowels you could change. You're like, well, I don't say pure, I say pure. That's fine, whatever vowel you choose. Just recognize that there's a consonant there, that pure, if you say it that way, is different than pour, which is to make liquid come out or the little holes in our face. The other thing I want you to realize too is that this can be subject to dialect. So I say Tuesday, Tuesday. Someone else in the world might say Tuesday, Tuesday. Why do they say it that way? Because that's how they say it. The nature of phonetics is that we transcribe exactly what is said um, by that individual at that moment. And so we have to sort of be ready to hear when this um, hidden glide is present. Hope this helps.